This is Tokyo, the capital of Japan and a sprawling metropolis famous around the world for its non-stop energy, historic shrines, and neon signs. This is a city often defined by premium taste and style in so many facets of life, between food, fashion, entertainment, and so much more. One club is hoping they can add football to that list of world-famous attractions in the capital. That's a team by the name of FC Tokyo. While FC Tokyo have a history dating back over 85 years, their modern era begins in 1999, when the club first joined the J-League in the second tier. There, they wasted no time in getting promoted at the first time of asking. For the next decade, this new capital club had a number of impressive performances, including two top five finishes and a pair of J-League Cups. But just as they became respected J-1 regulars, they were back down again, relegated to the J-2 League in 2010. This was far from a dark chapter in the club's history though, as second tier FC Tokyo actually enjoyed their most decorated season to date, finishing the 2011 campaign as not only winners of the J2 League, but also the Emperor's Cup. They'd have to wait another decade for their next confetti shower, but after enduring second place heartbreak in the league in 2019, FC Tokyo scoops some silverware in the 2020 J League YBC Levin Cup final. So that brings us up to today. Looking at FC Tokyo, what can we expect in 2021 and beyond? Well, for starters, this is a team with considerable talent across the board in its core, in defense and in attack as well. Japan national team star Masato Morishige is a rock at the back, and he's joined this season by incoming Brazilian international Bruno Vini. Uvini won't have to go far for a taste of home, with compatriots Arthur Silva in the midfield and a trio of Brazilians in the attack. Adailton, Diego Oliveira, and Leandro. Also in that attack is the electric Kensuke Nagai and Captain Keigo Higashi. But FC Tokyo is perhaps best known for its domestic scouting and youth development. Yuto Nagatomo and Yoshinori Muto both began their professional careers here after university and used FC Tokyo as a springboard to Europe. Before being on the books at Real Madrid, Takefusa Kubo was tearing it up at the Ajinomoto Stadium, doing stuff like this. And this all continues today, as Japan youth internationals like Takumi Nakamura and Kyosuke Tagawa have left their mark. So though FC Tokyo have not secured a J1 League title yet, they have crafted a blueprint for talent identification and helped develop plenty of Japanese football stars. That should surely help moving forward, as this club hopes its blend of youth and experience, domestic and international talent, and recent failure and recent triumph can help steer them to a J-League crown at long last.